Hello viewers. Justin Bieber lay climbs over Selena Gomez child after Chris Evans gives a funny response to all those Atlanta references. Further, please take a second to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell for more updates and watch this video till the end. After being hilariously name dropped a few instances on Atlanta, former Captain America superstar Chris Evans responds with a humorous put up of his own. Chris Evans has a superb response to all these funny Atlanta references. After a European detour, Atlanta has again to its titular metropolis for the last season. The hit FX sequence has additionally proven an eagerness to take a look at its major characters, with episodes focusing on Donald Glover's urn and revealing an apparently forgotten mystery. Urn's cousin, Al, Brian Terry Henry, has in the meantime had to contend with the truth that his rapping persona Paperboy may additionally be fading from relevancy. But even although the exhibit has been introspective, it has additionally regularly been very funny. This was once evident in Atlanta Season 4 Episode 6. Titled Crank That Killer, the episode assessments how Wazer and his buddy Darius, Lackey Stanfield, are inclined to go for some elusive sneakers. And as for Paper Boy, he is a little rattled by way of the truth that there is a crazed killer on the free focused on rappers. The two memories sooner or later connect. But earlier than then, Paper Boy goes to the mall carrying a nondescript hat to conceal his identity. As one observer notes, it is infrequently a stealth disguise. In fact, the observer continues, Evans is additionally at the mall and disguised with simply a cap. The digicum cuts to him, even though viewers by no means absolutely see Evans' face. Atlanta writer Stephen Glover spoke to Variety about the episode. When requested about the reference to Evans, Glover stated in part, We didn't attempt to get Chris Evans. We simply suppose he's funny. The writer's room has a number of jogging jokes about Chris Evans, however we've by no means tried to get him. Now, Evans responds to these feedback in a tweet, and it sounds like he would have been up for making an appearance. As the Alan T episode progresses, a shootout breaks out in the mall. Paperboy thinks, at first, that he would possibly be the goal of the killer, however then it turns out to be something else. Given that Evans's name drop and proven to be a few steps away from Paperboy, it would possibly have been humorous if the two had a quick interaction. Since his time as Captain America has ended, Evans has been down to mock his public persona a bit. In the chaos of the shootout, possibly the Avengers alum should have made a funny story about why Atlanta refers to him as White Hennessy. Maybe he ought to have been a fan of Paperboy. In any case, going by way of Evan's ultra-modern tweet, and others in the past, he is a fan of the FX show. He would not even be the weirdest cameo of the series. Liam Neeson has popped up, as himself, addressing controversial remarks he'd made. Alexander Skarsgård additionally confirmed up as himself, and was once quickly in a very strange relationship with Vanessa, Zazie Beats. Viewed in that light, a rather off-kilter visitor flip wouldn't shape properly in the heightened world off Atlanta. And as a bonus, thanks to his Captain America. The Winter Soldier days, Evans has ride dealing with impromptu chaos at the mall. Chris Evans is in closing negotiations to join Netflix's pain hustlers opposite Emily Blunt. Deadline first instructed you about the task out of con, with the streamer landed world rights to the David Yates directed, Wells Tower written characteristic for $50 million. Netflix had no remark on Evans probably becoming a member of the film. Pick facilities on Liza Drake, Blunt, a high school dropout dreaming of a higher lifestyles for her and her younger daughter. Liz lands a job with a failing pharmaceutical startup in a yelling strip mall in Central Florida. Her charm, guts and force catapult the employer and her into the excess of life, the place she quickly finds herself at the core of a crook conspiracy with lethal consequences. Lawrence Gray is producing Pain Hustlers under his Gray Matter Productions banner alongside Yates and Yvonne Walcott Yates' Witchwood Pictures. Lewis Taylor and Ben Everard are Epps, with Cyrus Majibi, Patrick Wade, Lawrence Cow and Lloyd Everard, serving as co-producers. Please inform us in the comments. Please do no longer forget about the subscribe and flip on the notification bell to see our day updates. Thanks for watching.